So I currently look like a chubby pippy long stocking who had a rebellious phase and got a haircut and a bad dye job but we're going to ignore that and I'm going to do the TMI tag and the questions here on my phone so let's just, let's just do it, let's do it, okay. Question number one, what are you wearing? I am wearing this green dress top thing that I got from Primark ages ago for a fiver and some black leggings. Question number two, ever been in love? I have thought I've been in love a few times, I will say that. Ever had a terrible breakup? Uh, no, I haven't, thankfully. The only breakup I have ever had was when I broke up with my best friend when we were dating at the time. We were together for three days and he's gay, so that wasn't gonna work out in my favour anyway. How tall are you? I am five foot one slash five foot two, depending on what shoes I wear. Question number five, how much do you weigh? I do not know. If you watch my videos, then you will know that I quit Slimming World, which means I stopped going to weekly weigh-ins, which means I don't, haven't weighed myself because I don't wear myself at home either, so I do not know. Number six, any tattoos? I do have tattoos. I have a tattoo of an owl in a vintage frame on my thigh, and I have a tattoo of the Deathly Hallows sign on my sternum, like right in them between my boobs and I'm getting more done to that very soon getting like vines put around it I am thinking about doing a whole video on my tattoos but once I have a few more because I do plan on getting more and I don't think it'd be a very interesting video with just two tattoos to show but yeah I'm thinking about thinking about doing that when I get a few more of them number seven any piercings I do also have piercings I have my nose pierced which is my most recent piercing and then I also have two studs in this ear and then in this ear I have like well, I don't have it pierced anymore because I have a closed up stud and then also a closed up stretcher in this ear because I stretched my ear when I was in high school, so, because I'm cool. Number eight, OTP. Well, right now, I am currently in the middle of watching season four of Orange is the New Black. So right now, at this precise moment that I'm filming this, it is Poussey and So-So. I have not reached the end of this season yet, so I don't know if I'm going to regret saying that. I, d I don't know. I don't know what happens or anything, but... Right now, as I'm filming it, it's them. It's them. Because they're just kind of cute together. And yeah, so we'll see if I regret saying that once I've finished this. Number nine, favourite show. I would probably just have to say RuPaul's Drag Race. It's the show that I like rewatch over and over and over and over and over again. And I've seen all of the seasons so many times, like I've lost count. So, and it just never gets boring. So I would still say that one. Number 10, favourite bands. I don't particularly have any favourite bands. I liked Paramore when I was like 14. And don't get me wrong, Paramore's still good, still cool. But I'm just not really like a band person. I mean, the other bands I've gone to see were the Jonas Brothers, and that was so long ago. <laughs> and McBusted. There they are, Busted and McFly. I'll go with them because they're cool. Apart from that, I just kind of go for like individual artists, so I don't really know why, it's just who I seem to be into, I guess. Something you miss. I miss doing pantomime, because I miss the people and I miss acting, but hopefully I should be doing something with that same drama group again very soon. I hope so anyway, that'll be awesome, and if I do, let me know if you want to see any more of those rehearsals slash behind the scenes vlogs, because they're really fun to film, and got a lot of views, all about the views, I'm joking, but they were really fun to film, so yeah, just hopefully that'll be happening. Number 12, favourite song, um, don't have a favourite song of all time, my favourite song changes all the time, as I'm sure a lot of people do, I don't think I have any like recent favourite songs, I'll tell you what I have, I'll, I'll tell you what I have been listening to a lot, I just recently bought myself a Disney compilation CD and I've been absolutely addicted to um, I'll Try, I think it's called I'll Try or I Try, one of those two from Peter Pan 2. I just really love it, I really really love it, I can't stop listening to it. That and When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2. Both of those songs I just, I cannot stop listening to them on this CD. And they're two kind of really obscure ones because there's the really like classic ones on there but I just, oh, I love the two of them. I think I might do a cover of I'll Try as well because I really really like that song. So that one right now. Number 13, how old are you? I am currently 21. Number 14, zodiac sign. I am a Scorpio, but I don't really buy into zodiac signs and astrology and all that jazz. It's just not my thing. Quality you look for in a partner. Um, I like someone who is organised because I am not and I need someone to balance me out. And I just look for someone who's willing to try, try a lot of things, and also I just need them to be resilient 
or is that the word? I don't know. I just need them to be able to tolerate me because I'm a lot. I'm a lot of work, I will say that. Number 16, favourite quote. Transformation is not a future event, it is a present activity. Favourite actor, Julie Andrews. Favourite colour, blue. Loud music or soft? And it all depends on my mood. I, I like soft music if I'm like sad or just, you know, having a chill time. I'll play a lot of soft piano music sometimes to fall asleep. I do like loud music, but my version of loud music is very different to my friend's version of loud music. When I'm home alone, I'll turn my music up and I think it's loud, but then I'll go to like my friend's house and their music is so loud and all I can hear is bass. And I, it's not even a bassy song, like it's not a bassy song, it's had the music so loud that all I can hear is doof, 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 and oh I hate that so much, I really really don't like that in the slightest. So somewhere in the middle? <laughs> Number 20, where do you go when you're sad? I go to my bed normally with some Doritos or some ice cream and I put on Netflix and I just eat my sorrows which is why I'm a pudgy pippy long stocking as I mentioned at the beginning. Number 21, how long does it take you to shower? I can shower in like 5-10 minutes if I have to but I like to enjoy my showers so I usually take about half an hour in the shower. Number 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Okay so we're gonna say it, this is if I'm not showering first thing in the morning because a lot of the time I shower at night anyway um, because we just talked about showering as well. If I am going to work and I'm on an early shift, which means I start at 7 in the morning. I will be ready in 15 minutes because a woman like her sleep. I like my sleep, so I'll be ready in like 15 minutes, do everything I need to do quickly, and I will be at work. Um, if I am on a late shift, again, it'll probably only take about 15 to 20 minutes. If I am going out into town, it'll probably take me about 20 minutes to half an hour. But if I'm going like out, Somewhere like nice, where people are like legitimately going to see me or something like that, or a lot of the time if I'm going to a friend's house, I will legitimately spend way too much time on my face. And it'll probably take me about an hour to get ready <laughs> because I'm obsessed with myself. Ever been in a physical fight? I have not ever been in a physical fight. Don't think I'm physical enough to fight or even walk sometimes. Um, I was nearly in a physical fight when I was like a kid because we just moved to like a new place and it wasn't wonderful, it was a bit rough and one of the girls didn't like me and wanted to start a fight and everyone else was cheering for her and whatnot and I cried and that was it really, we didn't actually even do anything so yeah that was the closest I came to a physical fight um, well art, oh turn on, theatrical talent turn off, cockiness, arrogance big-headedness in general. The reason I joined YouTube, I originally joined YouTube just to post videos of myself singing, uh, just to kind of get used to hearing my own voice again, kind of conquer my fear of hearing my voice back, because I used to hate it so much more than I do now, so it worked, and just to, just to get my voice out there in the public, because why not, like I said, obsessed with myself, so, you know. But that's still what I do to this day. I do the vloggy things, but I post singing videos, so I'm still, still, still sticking at it. Number 27, fears. Um, my fears are spiders, sharp things, and... No, there's more. No, there's more. Uh, heights. Not a big fan of heights. Um, we'll go with that. I'm pretty sure there is more, but we will go with spiders, sharp things, and heights. Cause, but I know there's more, because I'm a scaredy cat. I'm a scaredy cat. Number 28, the last thing that made you cry. I'm not sure the last time I cried. It could have been Orange is the New Black. I think I was tearing up a little bit at it when I was watching it yesterday. But I'm not overly sure on that one. I haven't cried in a while. I'm good right now. So that's a good thing. Number 29, the last time you said you loved someone uh, this morning. Number 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, my YouTube name is that Laura Louise and my name is... Laura, and that's my first name, and my middle name is Louise, so it's not that hard to figure out why I picked that Laura Louise. It's just my name. <laughs> Number 31, the last book you read. I think the last book I read was Land of Stories 2, because I don't read as much as I want to, slash should, and it's annoying, but I just don't have time right now. I might have more time when I'm at uni. We'll see if I read more, or just end up watching everything that the Netflix library has to offer, but we will see. The book you are currently reading, that would be Land of Stories 3. <laughs> I own Land of Stories 4 and 5 is coming out soon, and I still haven't finished 3, because I have no time to read it, so I'm like halfway through it and it's really annoying, but so yep, still reading that one. Number 33, the last show you watched, uh, that was Orange is the New Black, still currently watching it, good, done. 
Um, the last person you talked to, the last person I talked to in person was my mother, because she's downstairs and we just spoke, yeah. Number 35, the relationship between you and the person you last text. Bear with, let me see who I last text. I last text Stuart! Stuart is my best friend, you know, that gay best friend that I told you that I was in love with and dated for three days? Yeah, him! He was the last person I texted and he's still fab. He's fab. I love him. He's fab. Number 36, favourite food. Ah, uh, it's a difficult question. Really like food. Like most food. I really like most food. Oh, I'm a vegetarian, so don't eat meat, but apart from that, I really like most food. I'm a big savoury person. I'm not a massive sweet tooth. I'm a big savoury kind of fan. Um, oh, uh, crisps. Crisps. I'm gonna go with crisps, cause I could eat so many crisps. Like so many. Like I'm one of those people. Like if you buy me a 24 pack of crisps, they will all be gone in a day. They will. Like if I'm allowed to eat them all, I will eat them all. I can eat so many crisps. So we'll go with crisps. Number 37, a place you want to visit. I want to go anywhere that isn't in the UK. I have never been outside of the UK. I have been outside of England, technically, because I have been to Scotland and I think I've been to Wales. I don't know if it counts as Wales where I went. It might have been just outside Wales. But I've definitely been to Scotland, but I was on like a cramped up coach trip and I was really young and I didn't appreciate it. And apart from that, the only holidays I've ever been on have been like 20 minutes away in like a seaside resort because I live in a seaside town, which is a good thing, but also not a good thing because it means I don't go, ever go very far for holidays. And I just want to go somewhere that isn't in the United Kingdom, so anywhere. But if I did have to pick any like dream location, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go to America. I don't care where in America. I want to go to New York City, I want to go to Orlando, and I want to go to Los Angeles because I want to see all of the touristy things. I want to see some Broadway, and I want to go to Harry Potter World, and I want to see the stars on the floor of the thing. Is that Hollywood Boulevard? I don't know. People are gonna kill me if that's wrong, but standard touristy things. Number 38, the last place you were. I'm gonna go with places that aren't in my house because the answer would be the living room. Um, so the last place I was apart from that was church this morning. Number 39, do you have a crush? Uh, many, many crushes, many crushes, mostly on celebrities and fictional people, but many, many, many crushes. Number 40, the last time you kissed someone. Uh, that was probably the last time I was at a party and rather merry. Or just the last time I was with Stuart, because we kiss all the time, because we're weird like that. Number 41, the last time you were insulted. Uh, definitely the last time I was at work, because the boys at work love to insult me. They just, they get no greater joy, it seems, than insulting me about something, whether it's, I don't know, just anything, anything. They just love making fun of me and picking on me, but it's fine, because I enjoy giving it right back to them. Number 42, favourite flavour of sweet, anything sour. I love sour sweets, sour strawberries, sour apple cools. Apple cool? Sour strawberry, sour apple, sour tropical. That's what I was gonna say. What's apple cool? That's great. I love that. What instruments do you play? I play the ukulele and I know about two ish chords on the guitar. I'm trying to teach myself some more, but that's it really. Number 44, favourite piece of jewellery. My favourite piece of jewellery is this ring. I have not taken it off since I got it, even though it is now even missing a stone. But when I don't wear this ring, I just feel completely naked and it is the only piece of jewellery that I keep on my person at all times so definitely that number 45 the last sport you played <laughs> i don't play sport in case that wasn't obvious i'm not a sporty person i had asthma when i was younger so i couldn't run because i was really out of breath and it's just not my thing i'm not a sporty person every single sports day i did shot put because all i had to do was move my arm like i'm not a sporty person so yeah no number 46 last song you sang the animals, the animals, trap, trap, trap till the cages fall. <laughs> but apart from that, it was a hymn, a hymn at church. I don't remember which one. Number 47, favourite chat up line. Hey baby, I wish I was your derivative so I could lie tangent to your curves. Number 48, have you ever used it? <laughs> Definitely not. Number 49, the last time you hung out with someone? Yesterday. And number 50, who should answer these questions next? Well, everybody and their mother has already done this tag and it just kind of keeps circulating again by people who want to do it. So if you want to do it, be my guest and do it. However, I will say this, my friend Joe, Joseph Bed, 
who's fabulous, my friend Joe, has just recently A moved to America and B started making YouTube videos again. So if he happens to see this, Joe, I want you to do the TMI tag. If he does not see this, then whatever. But apart from that, anybody who wants to do this tag can do it. It's a free world. Make whatever content you want. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found out a little bit more about me that you didn't already know. Whether you wanted to or not, if you watched to the end of the video, you know now, so ha! And with that, I will say goodbye. Hopefully I will see you guys on Thursday with a singing video. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye!